Sure. Oh, okay. it's on my face. Okay. Hey. okay, I want us to start our talk from that point. Okay. I think we can start here. Okay. Alright, so this is hmm. this is what we are looking at. <laughs> <laughs> eh? yes. So this is this building. Yes. yes. This is this is how this place was. Yes. Eh? You yes. can see this edge. Yes, I can eh? see it very well. Yeah, you can see everything. This is how we met this uh, yes. place. The barrel. <laughs> eh? eh? uh -huh. Then you can see the transformation. Mm. Mm. You want to have a look? Yes. Okay, let's go with us now. This is a major eh? <laughs> transformation here. That's why I sent you these pictures so that. Uh, <sighs> mm. Uh, now this is how this building was. Yes. Huh? Hmm? This is uh, how it was. Now this is how it is today. Now this walkway. Yes. Uh, this walkway now was like this. Hmm? Then that's the transformation. Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, is the okay. this is the traditional ruler's council. council hall. When we arrived here, the roof was half gone. In fact, um, it was so bad that um, if they were having a uh, council meeting and begins to rain. So either abandon the meeting or shift to one corner of the So I promised them that the next rainy season will not meet them here. That was in November last year. Oh. And I made sure we kept, we kept the promise. that promise. And then this is uh, so we had to change the hall, hmm. change the furniture. There was a rickety table here. We now made a permanent one table. so that they could. Uh, hmm? So, yes, at least eh? when traditional, <laughs> when traditional, traditional rulers come to sit down, yes, they'll sit down comfortably. Yeah. Yes. Is that the man's office? Before this uh, building completely collapsed, there was nothing here at all. You understand? So now put it back for him so that at least when they come, they you can have some guests. That is part of the furniture that was put in. Mm. Mm. And look at the refrigerator. there. Mm. And, and then, huh? The way you name them, uh, the walkways. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we named the walkways. Uh, after His Excellency, well, the road after the uh, His Excellency. Now that building you see there is the federal building. Yes, that's the where people come to procure their NIM, NIM. and then the National Population uh, Commission. Commission is there. This is this is how the building used to to look like. You understand? That building was this building. Mm. Eh? Mm -hmm. When we took over, okay. all the roofs were leaking and, you know, it was that's the building now. Okay, now that's the building. Eh? <laughs> uh, <Gwena>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this so is... I knew that these bad kids are also new. Eh? Oh yeah, the barricades are new. Mm -hmm. They are not here. No, they are all new. Are so here. this is uh, Alex Oti driveway. Mm -hmm. This is how we met it. Mm -hmm. This is how we met it. Mm -hmm. So this is what it is now. You can see that building. It's this one. Mm. Huh? This is how we met that driveway. driveway. Yes, I know those bombs over there. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. 
Yeah, so this is the case I mean. Uh, okay, when we get to that place, I hope we'll be able to come around. Yes. Uh, okay, so this place here now, yes, used to look like this. Hmm? There's all sorts of news, and so you can see that whole day is yes. this one. Mm. Hmm? Mm. So, because it tied it up. Yeah. This was why the work was going on. This guy here used to look like this. Do we have a copy? Let's see this. This is my. This one it seems to be new building. Yeah. This one. Alright, so this one. This one was this is the main this, guy. The main guy here. Mm -hmm. So you know what this is doing here? What's the tank? Yeah, because yeah, because they didn't have uh, water here when we came here. No so problem. Really for the, so they collect uh, rainwater to flush their <laughs> toilets and everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are all the furniture we evacuated from. Some of the offices. Huh? And we're tidying up. All right. So. Okay, so this building mm. used to look like this. Okay. Mm? That is the Women Development Center. Yeah. Uh, uh, so this, that's this thing here. Yeah. The artwork here, Tom. So, um, mm? okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the new Abia Apple. <laughs> All these offices had no roof over mm. them. Weeds were growing in there and so on. <sighs> so even the workers here will feel a fresh of breath air. Yeah. Working in an environment where we have we some level of comfort. Be yeah, this is the Hall of Fame. Mm. Well, this Hall of Fame had also collapsed by the time we came here. All these pictures, we had to bring them back to life. The Hall of Fame houses the portraits of all the women hmm. in Abia who have uh, exhibited one form of excellence hmm. with the other. So we had to reconstruct the building and then provide the furniture, feedback, the pictures, and so on. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is the chapel. Mm. Eh? Mm. This chapel used to look like this. This is the this chapel. One. Okay. Yeah? This was how we, we met it. In fact, at some point, it, burned, it got burnt down. Some of these guys who farmed here yeah, just set the whole place on fire. So, if you mm. look at you see this place? Yes. That's that place. Hmm? This was the chapel. Wow. This was the inside. Oh. Huh? This was the inside. Now let's look. Let's see the inside. I see. <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like today. Mm. It's a good worship center. Exactly. So compare this. <laughs> yes. Compare this with this. To what we have here now. <laughs> People can indeed come here and have the time, the time with God. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Uh, we worship here every Wednesday. Yeah. That's right. Mm. Mm. 
This was the table oh. that were in that uh, okay, the traditional village house. house. So we had to remove them. Huh? Oh. So put what is there now. <sighs> now, looking at this side before, yes. this was how it was. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? There's a touch of change. Yeah, so you see now. See, this was the gap over here. Hmm? <laughs> <coughs> this was the temple. There was still this chapel. This, one, this, this is the temple. I told you. It came down completely after the fire incident. It came down completely. Now well, that's what it is today. All right, so now this is this multi purpose hall. This was how we met it. Oh. This place, huh? And then. Uh, this is still the multi purpose hall. Oh, oh. They have these pipes oh. holding up the roof. Oh. Hmm? We have to change them to the pillars. These pillars you see now. Hmm? The same multi purpose hall. Yeah, that's the same. You see, you see, you see, you can see all oh. the roof. Well, everything here was just dark. Here. Come and see it from there. Oh. You that, see the angle? That way. Yes. Uh huh. You see it this? this wing. Uh -huh, that's the wing. <laughs> see the wing. Now. Yes. You see the passage. Huh? Eh? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> eh? <laughs> you see wow. it. Wow. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is serious transformation. Yes. And all the cassavas. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the castle was called the farmland. Uh, it was a farmland, <laughs> not farming. Be everywhere. See, see the roof of this uh that should be one of the workways. Yeah, right? this workway. Mm -hmm. This was the roof. This was the, this was the ceiling. Sun. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This place was here. Oh. You see the entrance to the mm -hmm. uh, yes. traditional. Uh -huh. You now see from here. Mm -hmm. You see, that's what it was like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The same thing. Same area. This place, those yeah, angles. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm? That's a full change. <laughs> Complete change. Complete change. Mm. Complete change. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of um, uh, consistency that we need in leadership. Correct. Within a short span of time, everything will change. Yes. yes. Everything will change. So this is the multi-purpose hall now. Wow. Wow. Hmm? Well, there was no roof here before. You have done so much here. Huh? <laughs> this place can sit a high-level conference. All right. All right. Wow. Hmm? This is good. So the council can com comfortably host any form of them. Uh, yes, and people can also function. hire. Can also hire and do their And then, events. yes, do their event, bring money to the yes, council. Huh? Yeah, this is good. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Work is still going. We are, we are not done yet. Oh, be careful, Tom. Sorry, sorry. Come down, fall down. Work is still going. Oh, no, so there's a step to go down. Yes. Yeah. The brand new road. Brand new road. Now I'll show you the picture. Brand new road. Wow. If I let me show you from here. Really? Hmm? Are you having extra money from somewhere? Come. We have visitors from councils and then. Um, uh... Okay, come. Tom, Tom is here. Uh -huh. So this is the road. This was the road. Mm. This road. You can see that vehicle. You see where it is. Mm. Mm. Eh? Mm. Uh -huh, you see? Eh? This is brand new. Mm. <laughs> eh? And it's going around. Going around. Mm. Eh? The concrete report here is serious. Serious work. And, yeah. Mm. Yes, another hard-working woman. <laughs> she even sleeps in. She's the health authority. Yeah, does. 
She works harder than me. <laughs> uh, okay, come and see this place. So this building hmm, eh? this one looks like that. Yeah, this one man, you're seeing it. Yeah, then you're seeing this one. This one will start the painting next week. Hmm. This one, that one now yes. was like this. Huh? This is completely dilapidated. Yes. Complete. You completely. Can see. Rotten. A bit rotten. Eh? So that's the building man. And this what we have. Eh? <laughs> So this is the building too. This building, you know, go come. Mm. This is it. Mm. Eh? Yes. You can see the windows mm. here. Yeah? Mm. You mm. can see that mm. entrance. Yes. Eh? Yes. yes, yes. Uh -huh. So this, this is what it was like. Hmm? Ancient. Ancient and modern. We are not modern. Ancient but modern. Okay. The same thing still mm. continues. See the same building? This. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Alright. Now, this is uh, the uh, works department. This okay. man's work. How did these other places to fall apart? <laughs> uh, so, this was how we <laughs> building. So, this building here. Yeah. This is how we met it. This one, nobody will be staying there, then, no? No, nobody was staying there now. There was nothing. Giant hey. <laughs> you see that tank there? Yes. Huh? Now people can actually come for hunting that period. Uh -huh, exactly. So this is uh, this is what we have. Oh. Now this is the top of it. Who can ever be charred? I can open that black. Hey, what's on? Yes. 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 This is jungle. This is what is. This is. You can see that. The full turnaround. Yeah. The doors, everything changed, new. This is where those guys are sitting now. Eh? Yes. This is the place. That place they are sitting. Mm -hmm. You can see the ceiling, yes, everything. Yes, 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 yes. Eh? <laughs> Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Radio with that back. <laughs> okay, the carports, yes. Mm. It wasn't there, it had collapsed when we came here. So they requested that we put it back in front. So well, we had to oblige them. This one is the ministry, eh? Yeah. Ministry of yes. Health Unit. This was how it was. Yes. Now we are still working. Work is ongoing, mm. still ongoing. You mm. can see the doors have been changed. Yes. They are plumbing inside and then doing some. Uh, you finish with electric gas, have you? Okay. okay. Once the, that is done, we we'll start. So I'm, I'm hearing power. Is it the. Did yeah, you... we have to put back power. There was no power here. <laughs> and there was no water. We had to sink boreholes, put up those tanks. Now we have water running. The whole the generator. I said this is not um, uh, not the old Abia system. No, no, no. <laughs> Everywhere has. Power. Everywhere has power now. Yeah. Everywhere has power. So this is the local government education authority. Mm. This is how it was hmm? mm. with all these rickety doors, lever windows, and so on. We had to. Thank you, everything. Okay. Put the dogs. Work is still ongoing. Uh, work is still ongoing. Who can do it, man? So this, uh, you know, with this road is just brand new. <laughs> so you can see it's still going. This road is a major investment. Now this is uh, agric department. Mm. This is uh, how it was. Nobody was in here when we came. The building was gone, completely gone. Huh? <laughs> hey there. So that's uh, yes, uh, the agric department. <sighs> hmm. This was agric department. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> come and see. Come and see. Look how they are doing here. Come to the office, sit down, and do their job. Exactly. 
before they were all sitting under the trees. And there's no excuse. No. You yes. ask somebody, why are you have an excuse without the walk? No, it's at an office. There's no place to sit under the trees. Now you can actually come to work. Relax. To if I, you can actually look forward to yeah. coming, coming to work. To work. That's just it. Another important thing was that this road mm. led into this estate okay. before. Okay. And we had a lot of security issues. Breaches. Because people were coming here to steal our things. In fact, the Okada people, the Okada traffic here was something else. Oh. I had to block it. Do a perimeter fence around the whole council land, moving where we just visited. Yes, yes. Yeah, because people were grabbing the land and so on. I said, no, you can't take what is not yours. So I had to. And they were coming to arrest my people. For oh, what? No. For the land, uh, disturbing them from grabbing the land. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> Including him. He's a treasurer. So this road is still ongoing. So it's still going. It's still going. It's going now. I this have a construction site. Huh? This is a full construction site. Uh huh. It is. You can see the thickness. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, I want to talk to Okay, why do you jump here? So we don't have a carry that they need. Oh. Okay. Okay. For a very long time, this is the time that we have seen local government function, yes. do something. Yes. That people can see before. Yeah. Okay. There is nothing. No, <laughs> they don't even come to work. They just come and share money. Uh, I'll go home. So these are still council buildings? Yes. This is a building that was uh, erected by uh, Mrs. Mary Ujuma. Okay. She used to work with NCC. Mm -hmm. And then she built this as an ICT center. center. She approached the council and they gave her life. She built it as an ICT center. And then fortunately, at the point she was in, living in Canada then, after retiring mm. from NCC. Mm. At the point of uh, commencement, they discovered that hoodlums had broken through the roof, carted away computers and everything, all the infrastructure right. systems, she nearly collapsed. Right. So she just... This is disappointing. This is so when I, when I took over, I brought her back, I assured her that she would have maximum protection, maximum cooperation. She promised me she was coming, going to restart. Well, unfortunately, she still didn't show up. Last week, she was commending me, uh, telling me she's seen the pictures coming out of her catalog. I said, thank you very much, but I'm disappointed because you were supposed to restart this to compliment what I'm doing. Eh? Why are you now? <laughs> she says she's she has not nothing over that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, that huge shock. Yes. Yes. He still has that. Uh, so the council must be of the, the building. Mm -hmm. No, she told me last week that she's still coming. Okay. She is despite an investment too. Mm -hmm. Despite an investment. Yeah. Huh? You can see. We have to roof it. We roof it and then put it back. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that uh, 
transformer there yes. was completely vandalized when we came. So we had to put it back. Fixed. So that's uh, the much we've been able to do. Yes. That is the legislative quarters. Okay, I didn't uh, put the picture. I didn't uh, send you the picture. We were, able to, we were able to also put it back in order. In, in order. That's yes. legislative building. Yeah, I didn't show you that one. We also intend to start work. That's where the immigration service, the okay. Homeland Security yes. is. So. Uh, yes. Another one. Yeah, you know, so this, uh, this, this uh, gate, mm. half of it was gone. Okay, that's the main yeah. gate. And there was a very big gully here. Very big gully. So we had to fix it up. Fix it down. Fix the gully. Fix it again. Interlock it. And then, uh, yeah. And then come in. Yeah. At least when somebody walks into the council, yes, you will know that um, the yes. business here. Yes, yeah, in the government environment. Oh. Not just in a, in a help place. We also put this back. Hmm. These are the uh, all the people who have been here before us as mayors, as local government chairmen, and so on. Right from when this place was so who I am, hmm. Okay, yes. We went and became a two people half year local government. And then when it was a half year. When it was a half year. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> And today we are on our program Focal Point and you know we have this program where we visit local government areas to see what's happening in different local government areas. We visited various local government areas and today we are in Ohafia local government area. We have gone around with the mayor of Ohafia, we have seen massive projects on ground, we have seen great things that he is doing and now we have the opportunity to interact with him one on one and get to know more about what we have seen on ground. Today we are with the Mayor of Ohafia, Chief Dr. David Oba Onoha Bodex, MFR. Never <laughs> sir. <laughs> Chief, yeah, uh, um, thank you so much for this opportunity to visit your local government and see what you are you've been doing. Um, uh, we have gone around with you. We have seen a lot of things that you are doing and what you have done and what is ongoing at the moment. So I want to ask in words, the day you stepped into this local government, the first day, what was it like to you? Well, thank you so much, uh, Inebu. Uh, let me, first of all, thank you for coming. I know you have been uh, wanting to come for quite some time now. <laughs> Uh, and I wanted you to come at a time when you will uh, have the opportunity that we've had today. Mm -hmm. um, well, to answer your question, uh, let me first of all 
start by thanking His Excellency Dr. Alex Joma Oti UFR for giving me in particular and the other mayors the opportunity to have the experience mm -hmm. of being a local government chairman even if it is uh, given that elevated name mayor <laughs> <laughs> uh, i want to thank him because it has been a it's been quite a ride um the day he first muted the idea uh, it was to me like a joke and to so many others a lot of people and it's on record well how, how can you be a transition uh, uh, council chairman uh, a whole body will come and become a transition council chairman and then a man who has run for Senate how many times and so on and so forth, all sorts of talks, all sorts of so um I to be honest with you, I didn't quite know what to do. Uh but deep down I knew that for his excellency to have uh, uh brought up that idea and the way it was brought up that uh, there was something he was seeing that we were not seeing mm, mm. Uh, well because whether you like it or not the man is a visionary mm. he does things in a, a quite a different way from how other people do it so eventually i will say that i reluctantly agreed mm. and uh, by the time i got here i was the first day i got here to be honest with you, I was so confused. <laughs> I wanted to just run away. <laughs> this place was as if the Civil War had just ended. <laughs> You've seen the pictures yes, of yes. before. Yes. And each time I stood up and looked at the window, I asked myself, what exactly so I do. am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, well, I summoned up the college and got to work. Mm because that's who I am. Mm. And uh, so it's been quite experience. I got to meet a brand new, different kind of people, <laughs> a different set of human beings that I never knew existed. Mm. And so I've been struggling with them since that time to see if I can not reshape or bend at least uh, get to a level where uh, they can understand me, I can understand them. Mm. So, and then we struggled on, and uh, I was fortunate to have a, a head of uh, a, a department, works uh, engineer, HOD works, who uh, was literally sleeping in the council mm. to make sure that. Uh, things were done in record time and also uh, that um, the money that was available to us was judiciously used and so we managed it and thanks to him and my chief of staff and the other of my personal staff who I ensured were policing every purchase and uh, making sure that uh, the invoices we were signing off were uh, what it should be. Um, and then the head of service and uh, team who have been cooperating and uh, making things easy for us. Uh, we've been able to, to manage. And so we have a kind of... Uh, <laughs> Uh, don the magic his excellency had in mind and that was to revamp this local government turn it around because this whole place was farmland when we got here it was cassava everywhere and uh, well you've seen the pictures most roofs had no no most buildings had no roofs on them people workers were sitting under the trees there was no motivation to come to work there was no running water here 
there was no power. So, but uh, within the time we have uh, had to work with, we've been able to achieve so much. And we've also been able to elevate this office, mm. this uh, transition chairman or local government mm. chairman office. We've been able to elevate, elevate it now. Everybody wants to be local government chairman. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you were hunting me, don't accept it. <laughs> you don't want to now want to be local government chairman. When I hear the names of Panda Arab people, who I will laugh and laugh anyway, but it's okay. The, my prayer is that um, whoever takes over from us should not go below the standard we have mm. set. Mm. When we got here, another thing we, the, another problem we had here was insecurity. We had um, the council grounds being used as a thoroughfare. Uh, when we were going around, I showed you, yes. I showed you the uh, housing estate behind us. That housing estate is called Shagari Housing Estate. And it is uh, occupied by all manner of human beings. The things that belonged to the council were being carted away on a daily basis as well. So we had to, I had to inform His Excellency that we needed a perimeter fence around the council. He graciously approved. And so we put up that, we put up that perimeter fence. It just reduced the stealing and the uh, Okada traffic that was here. Uh, it's gone now. So my other prayer is that whoever takes over must not allow that fence to come down. Uh, the other issue we had was people encroaching on uh, council mm. and uh, they, they were balkanizing the land and uh, apportioning it to themselves. Even former local government chairmen have lands there. Serious. Oh yeah. They have lands there, they had, uh, uh, you know, uh, taken over. But when I came, I said, to them, it's not possible. You cannot take what does not belong to you. Yeah. So I fenced up, fenced back in all the land they took. So the council had a proper fence going around the whole council. Uh, as of last week, we had finished the survey. I spoke to the survey general yesterday. He assured me that the survey plan, the printed of a plan will be ready today. So if I don't receive it today, I will, I will receive it tomorrow. So so now we have uh, the, the, the council ground surveyed. So that is uh, the answer to your first, the first part of your question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, Mayor, mm. we have gone around the, the council and we have exactly seen the turnaround because I myself too have visited this council at least twice before you took over the council and I know practically what the council looks like <laughs> as at that time. <laughs> so now there's a lot of change. What motivation, what pushes you to achieve this kind of things you are doing? Because even the, um, uh, the designs, the environment, the ambience, it's not just, um, uh, it's not everybody that would want to do this kind of a thing, but it's nice. What is the motivation? Well, the, the truth is that um, it is, uh, you cannot give what you don't have. Correct. And uh, if I'm doing anything, I can only do it one way, and that is the way I would like to do it if it belongs to me. <laughs> so I, I am not working here as, a, as just a council chairman who want to do something anyhow. Let me give you an example. When I was uh, uh, rebuilding this office, you and I are sitting, mm. Mm. we were knocking out it because there was nothing here. Those chairs you saw downstairs were here. You know, you can see how they were torn and so on and so forth. So we were knocking out all the things, trying to fix the place. And then somebody came in and he said, Ah, Chief, all this innovation work, is it not this thing that you guys will just stay a few months and uh, your tenure is over? I laughed. I said, I told him that uh, that's a poor man talking right there. <laughs> I told him that if, even if I stay two weeks here, 
I want whoever comes here to know that Bodex passed here. To twelve. So that is the motivation. <laughs> the motivation is to do things the way you would want to do it for yourself. And that's how my father brought me up. He instilled it in me as a young man that when you go to work for somebody, don't say that too, I will do it anyhow because it's not my own. When I'm doing my own, I will do it the way I want to do it. It's not true. You will do it the way you were doing it because at that time, I did not know he was talking to me about habit. Mm, mm. The habit form mm. is very difficult to let go. You understand? Mm. So, I come to work here. Today, I got here by 8 o'clock. My people were not here yet. You understand? By the time they... So, that's how... That's me. I come even on Sundays, even on Saturday. Because I've been given a work, a job to do here, and I have to do it. And so, that's what drives me. Anything you will give me to do, I will do it to the best of my ability because it is what is inherent in me. Okay, moving forward, um, <laughs> um, Mary, uh, moving forward from here, we have, just like I said, we have seen what you have done. Mm -hmm. um, what would be your advice to the people of Ohafia and anybody that is coming in again to take over from you? Well, my advice would be the people of Ohafia, my advice to them, of local government area, my advice to them would be to give whoever is coming here the maximum cooperation they have given me. They've given me so much cooperation and they, they are happy with what we have been able to do in their lives. Because when you have a workstation that is uncomfortable, mm. there's no way you can be productive. Now people look forward to coming to work. To work. They look forward to coming here, charge their phone, have a good working environment, relax. Snap pictures. Snap pictures. Yeah, <laughs> you understand? So my advice to them will be, we've worked so hard to put all these things. Protect it. Don't damage it. Don't steal what we have fixed here. Even the chairs and tables and every all the fixtures that we've put here. Is taxpayers' money protected? And the, so, whoever is coming here, my advice will be try and maintain what we call Nigeria. Nigeria, the other thing that is so problematic is maintenance culture. We don't have it. Try and maintain what we have left here. And like I said, ensure that those people who have uh, encroached on local government land do not have access to it. Also, ensure that the perimeter fence we have put remains in place. I have been under so much pressure to allow a small gate. That's how they put a small gate for people who live in that estate to be passing through. I said, no, I will not allow even a small hole for lizard to pass <laughs> because that will destroy everything we have done here. Mm. So, and then to Ohafia people too, I will advise, yeah, you know, Ohafia is made up of three clans. Mm. Ohafia, Abreba, and Nukuro. Pay your tax. The government of Dr. Alex Oti needs that money to continue doing the good work they are doing. Without taxpayers' money, it will be almost impossible. It makes you happy when you see the tax you are, being, you are paying, being put to use. If you travel from Isukwe to this place, you can see that the roads are being, you know, uh, constructed. You come here, you see that we've done so much. It all requires money. So that will be my advice. So, so for them, pay your tax, maintain and protect government properties. And for the man who is coming, try and maintain what we have done. And improve upon it. And improve upon it and build on it so that uh, uh, people will be happy with you. Uh, yeah, and posterity, post, posterity will also remember you. Okay. History will be kind to you. Mm. Thank you very much, Chief. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have um, interacted with the mayor of um, Ohafia local government area, and um, you've heard from him. Drop your comments. Feedbacks are very important so that we can always interact and move on from there. Thank you, and God bless. My name remains Emin Kere with the anchor of the show. God bless you.